Hello everybody, this is Blue Sky coming to you on a Blue Sky day. And uh, I figure I'll talk to you guys because I was thinking about you guys. I said, let me bring them on a walk with me because this is a good message for all the moms and the support people who are supporting the moms who are pregnant that uh, we all want that ideal birth where we just squat and the baby just flies out and then somebody brings our favorite food and we get to take a nice deep nap and the baby just bonds with us instantly and they don't give us no trouble and they go to sleep at night. But anyway, I'm writing. That's a whole other story. We'll, we'll work on those things later. But right now, let's talk about getting the baby out. Um, what I'm doing now, I'm just in a peaceful place, a place that makes me happy. Uh, you know, there's no fear with this. I'm just walking. Walking is the best way to help get that baby out faster. Uh, the sooner you start, the better. So some people say start doing it when you're like nine months pregnant. Uh, some people say, you know, really get to walking when you're about a week do, um, just to get, get, get it started. Get the gravity to push the baby's head down on your pelvic to start sending signals to your brain, it's time for this baby to come out. So that's a way to trick it by using gravity force. I use that anytime you're upright. Anytime you're upright, uh, gravity is shooting straight down. Just imagine through your head, through your chest, and down into your womb to push the baby out. So, just imagine that when you're walking. Now, if you are having a pregnancy that um, tells you to have bed rest, then of course this does not apply to you. Because bed rest is basically stopping gravity from pushing baby down. Will you have back pain? Yes, but this doesn't pertain to you. This is for the ones who goes to the doctors or the midwives, or sees their doulas on the regular, and they're saying, oh, everything's fine. You're good to go, that type of thing. See you next time, those people. Yeah, um, it's just good to get started right away as soon as you find out. So if you're not active when you find out you get pregnant, it's good just to get started, just to get your body ready, get that pelvic area toned, because the more toned your pelvic area is, the more toned your thighs are, believe it or not. It, it, it helps a lot with getting you through the pregnancy. The more, more tone your lower back, lower abdominals are, because that's where it's gonna hit. If you have weak muscles in that area, then uh, you're gonna have um, a more painful birth than you could avoid it, let's say that, because it's, uh, you know, when it comes to labor, each person measures their own pain. I'm not here to judge. So walking is an excellent way to get those muscles started. Um, there's no effects on your body, your joints, because you would know if you have any leg problems or back problems already, what kind of special shoes you'll probably need to get walking shoes. So there's really no excuse. I mean, if you have issues, you know, talk, but you have a normal labor, talk to your doctor, find out, you know, the best way that you can move around, walk, use your, your legs more on your feet, whether that's getting insoles or getting back braces. Um, there's a lot of wonderful back braces out now um, and um, you have a lot to choose from versus years ago there's pretty much two standard styles but uh, now there's a plethora of braces so anything that you have to do to get you out and about um, for those who are top heavy um, you might have to even get you an extra support bra to pull your shoulders back so when you walk you're not doing one of these numbers and then you're going to be more more in pain and more uncomfortable when you try to go to bed at night. Um, walking also, there's so much for walking, I can go on and on, but I know my battery's about to cut off, so I'm trying to get everything in. But um, walking also helps you sleep better. 
So if you have um, uh, any insomnia issues, uh, even before pregnancy or, you know, while you're pregnant, you just discover this. Um, walking definitely does help um, towards the end of the day. So after work, uh, just take your dog out, cat, you know, your kids, and just go for a walk. Um, and choose an area, because I talked about ease in the beginning of this video. Choose an area that's ease for you. Some people don't live in areas where, um, you know, some people live in areas where they gotta carry sticks and stuff because there might be dogs, you know, pit bulls that are loose and things like that and don't wanna walk really too far with their kids and traffic and things like that. So choose, maybe you have to do it a couple times a week, you know, because you might have to travel to a particular park that you enjoy. Um, that's okay. You know, at least you're getting it done. At least you're getting it done. And it will motivate you once you get started, once you get that feeling. Yeah, once you do it for like a week, you'll see a difference. Usually it takes about a good seven to 14 days for anything that's new for your body um, to see a difference. So just give it time, just like anything in life, I know. I hate that too, right? I hate that too. Just give it time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just trust me on this one. I'm not gonna lie to you on this channel. Give it time and um, and you'll see the effects in your sleeping patterns. Also, if you have previous kids, you can use this as a test. Let's say if you never did walk or whatever with your other children, um, you can use this as a marker to see what's the difference between you now starting to move around versus your other two or your other one where you maybe was told not to do any walking or any strenuous. Cause I know my first child, um, she's 21 now. Um, that was the thing. <laughs> like, it was like, relax your pelvic muscles do the whole entire. So I was just like relaxing those, my pelvic muscles do the whole entire pregnancy, you know? And it, it just somehow stuck. And it was kind of hard to believe that, you know, you, we can still, you know, move and do things and run and jog as long as we get clearance, of course, with our, our uh, doctors or midwives or doulas to do so um, for whatever reason, then hey, if you get that A-OK, -okay, you're good to go, that means you're good to go.